Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take this is my OnePlus 9RT i am using the Oxynos 14 version 500 on it from last one month it's Android 14 stable build but today i got the news that OnePlus started to roll out the new Oxynos 14 AX01 V600 OTA for this device so i eagerly checked my OTA section but i still didn't got this OTA I used the OnePlus updater application also but there also it's shown your system is up to date. But by manual flashing process finally I did the update of my device and I am currently running on the Oxygen OS AX01 V600 version. And it has this minor but solid change log. So if you are also facing this issue of not getting OTA then today we are going to discuss how you can flash this build. We will thoroughly check out its change log which has some amazing changes. We also did the performance test and we also seen some improvement in the battery that we are facing from few days. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. If you still didn't got this OTA then download this full OTA file of 5GB size from the link given under the video description. Place this file in the root of your device storage like this. Your device must be on the Oxygenus 14 V500 to flash this build. Now go to the OTA, then tap 3 dot menu from top right corner, then select local install, then locate your downloaded package, select it. System will start to verify the package, then tap extract, this will take 3-4 minutes. Your device must have more than 5 GB storage to correctly extract the package. Once it's case done, you get the install tab, tap on it, device will start to reboot and finally it boots to the new updated version. Once booted to the system in the notification panel, you will see finishing system update notification. Wait until it gets complete. During this period, phone will feel very laggy but don't worry, it will get sorted after this process. Ok, let's check out the about device details now. In the OT updater, you will see it's showing our device is now upgraded to the Oxygen S14 EX01 V600 build. It has small but very interesting change log that we will discuss soon. Android version is like old V500, it's Android 14 with the Google's upside down easter egg. The biggest change of this new update is the new security patch of latest April 2024. Last build was on the February security patches. Under the version section, it's showing updated version as EX01600. Another big update is the kernel. It's upgraded to the state 5.4.254. While old build was on the 5.4.233. This is not mentioned in the change log, but I discovered it. So the new update is based on the latest sources of Android. Now let's check out the new changes of the new update. First change is the new volume button on off torch option. You will find this option under the gestures and the motion setting of the device. If you enable this toggle and on the off screen mode, if you long press the volume down button, it will activate the torch and if you again long press the volume down, it turns off the torch. It's a pretty useful feature in emergency condition. Next big change is the new user interface of volume panel. Now volume panel has this big sized bar for the media ringtone, alarm, volumes etc. But the interesting part is the another. If you tap this gear icon setting, it redirects to the sound and the vibration setting. Here you get the new option called as the per app volume toggle. If you enable this and place any media application like YouTube or any other music application, then while using that application in the volume panel, now you case the separate volume control for that specific app irrespective of media volume of other applications. Next OnePlus added the new partial screenshot option in the smart bar. Open the smart sidebar, tap all and you will see the new partial screenshot option. You guess the three gestures to take the partial screenshot like rectangle, ellipse and the freeform mode. By using this, you can take the screenshot of only specific part of the screen instead of full screen traditional way. Next change is for the photos application. Here if you select some photos and then tap on the add to option, you get the college option to create college of different photos. But now you can create the college of photos without frames around the pictures. 
Next, OnePlus added the fuzzy search for any application by just writing the single letter of application name in the app search bar within the app door or in the smart sidebar. So these are all the major changes I found except that nothing is new. Next, we did the performance testing of the new OTAs in the Geekbench. Initial impressions of the ROM are awesome. Like old build, it's faster and smoother with the better RAM management. For CPU, after running the Geekbench test, I got the score of 1, 2, 5, 6 and 3, 2, 2, 3 for the single and multi-core respectively. Old build has the score of 1, 1, 3, 8 and 3, 2, 5, 0. So as per the results, single core performance improves here. For OpenGL, we got the score of 4, 3, 5, 6 and for Hulkan score, we got the score of 4, 7, 8, 6. Old build has the score of 4303 for the Hulkan API. Here big improvement has been found for the Hulkan API drivers. It's drastically improved over 400 points for the new update. So these are the major points regarding this new update. But if you ask me about the bugs, then if your device is rooted like my device, then you will face the major issue of device CTS profile is failing in the Asnac Septinet application. Similarly, Play Store showing the device play protect is not certified. So you can't able to use some applications and one bug is that I mentioned same in the old video is that I can't able to search the Amazon application in the app drawer. I can't understand the issue behind this problem. Is it the device specific issue or what? I can only able to search and open it via the Play Store directly. So these are some minor bugs if you are using the unlocked device. Except that you will not face any issues. The major issue of battery drain and heating was there in the old build but in this new build I am feeling device battery performance has improved somewhat as per my current uses but still I have to wait and use this new build at least for the 2 to 3 days then I will release the community post for the battery results. Until then if you liked my work then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for the 9RT. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care. Bye-bye.